this is how you can make a chat GPT command for your Discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I would like to say that memberships now are available on my channel. If you'd like to purchase these, you can go ahead and click the join button next to my username, or you can click the link in the description. If you purchase the super god tier or custom bot tier, you will get access to paste bins, meaning you can copy and paste the code from my videos into your Discord bot or website so you don't actually have to type it out. If you buy the custom bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. Bot. If any of this seems interesting, go ahead and click the join button or the link in the description below, and let's go ahead and get started. To actually make this command, we have to create an API key with OpenAI. So go ahead and click the link in the description below to get to this site, then just go ahead and click login or sign up if you haven't already made an account. Once you're here, go ahead and click the create new secret key. Now keep in mind, you should not share this key with anyone, obviously I'm going to delete this before I make this public, but go ahead and click copy. One thing to keep in mind is once you click OK, you're no longer going to be able to copy this key again so just make sure you copy it before clicking ok once you're done with that we can actually go ahead and get started all right so we can go over to our discord bot and we can go to community and we can go ahead and create chat gpt.js so in this file we can start off by defining the slash command builder so we can do const we'll get our slash command builder and then we do equals require and we can just get discord.js like that now we can do const and we'll get our configuration and we can get open AI API and we can do equals require and we're going to get open AI. Now for this to work, you are going to have to go to your terminal and do MPMI open AI. After installing that package, you are going to notice that the configuration and open AI API are going to be green. Now we can do const configuration equals and then we'll do new configuration. We can go ahead and open this up and here we're going to get our API key. And in here, we can open this up with a string and we're gonna go ahead and paste that API key that we got from the OpenAI website. And we can add a semicolon down here and we can come down here and say const open AI equals new open AI API, just like this. In here, we're gonna say configuration and we can come down here and do module.exports. We can go ahead and do equals and then we're gonna go ahead and open this up. In here, we're gonna do data and we're gonna do new slash command builder. We can set a name, so set name and this is gonna be a chat GPT. Then we can do dot set description, and this is gonna say ask chat GPT a question. Then we can do set DM permission, and we're gonna make this false. We can add a comma, we can come down here and say async executes. We're gonna do interaction, and then we can go ahead and open this up. So to start off, we're just gonna go ahead and defer a reply. So we can do await interaction dot defer reply. Now we can come up here and actually add a string. So we can do add string option, option, arrow function, option dot set name. And we're gonna get our question. And then we can say a description, and this is going to be the question for chat GPT, just like that. Set required, we're gonna make this true. And we can come down here and do const question equals interaction, the options, that get string, and we're gonna put our question in there. Now we're gonna come down here and say try, we'll open this up, const res equals await open AI dot create compilation. We can open this up. In here, we're gonna say model, and that is going to be text and then D-A-V-I-N-C-I, -I, and then 003, just like that. I'm gonna add a comma, I'm gonna say max tokens, and in here we're gonna do 2048. So what you can do is you can lower this number for a faster response. However, if you do lower this number, the responses aren't gonna be as detailed and the character length is gonna be less. So I'm gonna leave it at this number because this seems to work really good for Discord bots. So we can add a comma, we can come down here and say temperature, and that is going to be 0 0.5. Then we can add a comma and prompt, and that is going to be question, and just like that. So then we can actually come up here and we're gonna make an embed. So you can do const embed, there's a new embed builder now we are going to actually go ahead and define this up here so we can do comma embed builder and then we can come down here and do set color for the color we can just do blue now we can set a description and for the description we can do backslash and then we can do the tick we'll do backslash tick backslash tick three times and then we can go ahead and open this up and we're going to do res.data.choices and then we can do brackets we can say zero and then we can do dot text then we can do the exact same thing on the opposite side so we can do backslash tick backslash tick and backslash tick just like that so we can actually go ahead and edit the reply so we can do a with interaction edit reply and in here we're going to go ahead and say embeds and we can say embed it just like that now we can actually go ahead and catch an error so we can do catch E. We're going to go ahead and open this up. 
In here, we can return await interaction to edit reply. In here, we can go ahead and say content. And in here, we can just say request failed with status code. And then we can just go ahead and bold this. And we're going to say e.response.status. And then we can finish that bolding just like that. Lastly, we are going to make this informal. So we can do comma, E-P-H, E-M-E-R-A-L, and do true. All right, so that is all we have to do. One more thing before we actually restart, we're actually gonna go ahead and copy our embed and we're just gonna go ahead and paste it down here right above the edit reply, just like that. With that, we are actually fully done with the command so we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. So to run this, we're gonna do slash chat GPT and we're just gonna go ahead and give it a question. So for me, I'm gonna say, what is a discord bot? Just like that. And it's gonna go ahead and send. Now keep in mind, it is gonna think for a little bit of time and then it's gonna go ahead and send. Now keep in mind, you can remove a lot of the thinking time by lowering this max token number here but if you do that the responses aren't going to be as detailed so if we actually go ahead and read the response i asked what is a discord bot it says a discord bot is a type of software application that can be used to automate various tasks within a discord platform and then it just goes ahead and it says even more stuff on discord bots now let's go ahead and ask it a more in-depth question and see what the answer is going to be so let's say chat gpt and let's say something like how can i build a discord server that gets a lot of members now this would be a question that somebody using your bot may ask so let's see how long it will take now that's done thinking, it's going to go ahead and give me a list of responses. Now keep in mind, this is not going to be perfect. Sometimes you're going to get some weird characters in there, but that's just because you're using an API key and you're not actually using ChatGPT. One other thing to keep in mind is this is not actually ChatGPT. You are actually using GPT-3 to get all of this information, not the actual ChatGPT platform that we're all familiar with. You may have seen the no text-to-speech video on Me6's version of this where you can exploit it, so just be very careful of that, adding it to a public Discord bot. You can exploit this command, so just be really careful with that. Now let's ask the chat GPT one more question just to see what it says. So chat GPT, what is open AI? Let's see what it says for this. And here we go. It's going to say open AI is a resource laboratory based in San Francisco, California. And it's basically just going to go ahead and give me a bunch of information on open AI. If this is helpful for you. Go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. If you need any help with the code, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be able to help you out. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.